for no skincare routine video, just say he wanted to make one. Just stand on that shit. Hey you guys, what's up? This is Big Mute Aesthetics and I'm back with my super highly requested skincare routine video. You guys have been going crazy in the comments asking me about my skincare routine. So I thought it would be so beneficial for me to make this video. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that fake ass YouTuber shit. Ain't nobody asked you for no skincare routine video. Just say he wanted to make one. Just stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I... I'm a dry skin girl, and y'all know in the wintertime, it's our act up season. So, I thought I, I thought I should make a dry skin care routine video for my other dry girls. So, if you want that glowing, dewy, lit from within moisturization, even during the wintertime, it's possible. I will show y'all what I use to keep up with my skin during these harsh winter months. If you're interested, please sit back, relax, take some notes. And stay tuned. Bye. So the first ingredient I'm going to go in is my cleanser. This is a Soap and Glory Peaches and Cream Milk Cleanser. This is really, really moisturizing. Um, it's really good for dry skin. Duh. When I'm not super dry, I use the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Cleanser. That gets you like squeaky, squeaky clean. But it's kind of drying. So I stick with this. And even though it's great and it feels great on the skin, I like to feel my skincare, if you know what I'm saying. So, I combine it with the apricot scrub. You can get the brand name. Obviously, this is a Target brand. They work exactly the same. But when you combine these two together, you get this good moisturizing wash with a little exfoliation. Okay, so I'm going to go in and show y'all what I mean. I want y'all to look at my skin before. I mean, my skin is it's okay. But it's because I've been doing all these things to keep it okay. Okay, so after that, I like to get a clean white washcloth and really just wipe my face down because the exfoliator leaves like a little grit, sandy little pieces on your skin. And I don't like feeling them once I start adding my other products. Whew, so at this point, uh, you should be really exfoliated and nice and smooth. As y'all can see, I concentrated my exfoliation here and here because that's where I get the driest, my cheeks, and any little creases in my nose. Honey, that crust will build up, okay? And nobody wants crusty nose innards. You know, that's just not cute. I do like my lips feeling really good. Uh, I do exfoliate my lips with that St. Oscar, but not, not mixed with the soap. That's gross, but... Ah, uh, yep. Scrub them down. This is help your help your lips stay nice and pink and soft. Okay. Um, and for those people that say like washcloths carry bacteria and stuff, like I just use one. Like this is not gonna go hang up on the um, you know, the towel rack. Like this is going in the laundry. Like I use it. It's over. I feel like they carry bacteria when you keep the same one over and over again. Whew. But now, I'm nice and exfoliated. Um, I'm going to kind of go in with my toner, um, which for me is rubbing alcohol. Like I said, I like to feel my products. I'm sorry. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not none of that shit. I just know what works for my skin. So I wanted to feel my exfoliation. I felt that. You got to scrape that skin up a little bit. I want to scrape the crust off, okay? So now I'm just rubbing alcohol. I have other toners, but I kind of feel like they don't do anything. It's just like a step, and I'm like, why am I doing this? So for this, um, you know, we just take some cotton rounds. 
and I'm just gonna take my time because you know if this shit gets in your eye god bless you it's gonna burn like a bitch also this kind of burns because we just finished scrubbing and scraping our skin so I'm definitely giving astringent that's I guess that's what I mean but I want to feel something because like when you use sea breeze on your face that shit burn I feel like it was just working because it burns like I'm turning red because it burns so I feel like it's doing something and you get this super like smooth shine to your skin like you've stripped everything out of it it's just dry it kind of makes me feel like I now have a blank canvas to apply product and I feel like it gets any of the dirt I may have missed while washing also I'm paying extra attention to my eyebrow area because when I do makeup I dry this area out anyway so that my my when I pencil my brows and it sticks on better because once you put all them oils and moistures in your skin like my eyebrows slide right off but anyway all right now that we've tuned I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badesco Facial Spray, Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. Um, just a spray. I don't use this as a satin spray because I don't think there's anything in it that actually sets your makeup. Um, I used to use it as a satin spray, but right now I'm just feeling like let me put these, this aloe and these vitamins and these nutrients back in now that we've cleansed and stripped everything out. Sips iced coffee. Yep. I feel like I want to get a fan for this stuff because I do like to let it dry down in between steps to really give it a chance to work its way in and do what it's supposed to do. But at the same time, like, it be taking too long. Okay. While that's drying, though, I am going to go ahead and use my Mario Badesco lip balm. This stuff is amazing. Um, I talked about this in my September favorites video. But this is so good. Like, if you have dry lips, which if you have dry skin, you probably have dry lips. It's, like, moisturizing and shiny. Like, and it's, like, $7. And it lasts a long time because I literally put this shit on, like, all day. And um, it's just the shit. Like, if you don't have this, if you don't get anything else, get this. Like, this is so good. Look, can you see it, guys? Can you can you see it? <laughs> I hate you too. <laughs> but here I am. Um, okay, so now that this is dry, low-key to you, like, because the reason our skin is dry is because there's no humidity in the air because it's cold. So, like, I don't know about y'all, but you combine that with some heat that's on circulating in your house, and then I have dry nasal patches, passages too. So, I'm going to go in with my little saline nasal spray just to, like, Moisturize, you know. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Cause like my skin could be moisturized and super dewy. If my nose is dry on the inside, then I'm just gonna still feel dry. So I have moisturized everything. Okay. So now that we have toned, I like to go in with the serum. Um, I'm using the Trader Joe's Nourish Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. I've had other moisturizing serums. Um, they all just kind of feel the same to me. So I just get this one because I can get it when I get my groceries or um, how convenient on those farm. I did hear, oh yeah, you're supposed to like press your serums into your skin as opposed to just rubbing it around like I am. So let's let's go back and press press like really push it in i don't know if this makes a difference but we're gonna try it we're gonna try press 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 press, press push it in. you can see like it's my skin is tacky you can hear it uh, okay okay so this is like my first layer of moisture you know we really want to let this set in and lock in. Now, on to the heavy duty shit. Okay, so if this was a normal dry day, I would be using my Bliss Cream to 
cream and water hydrator for all day moisture this shit really does work you really are moisturized all day long i love it i talked about it in another video that i don't remember which one it was but when i'm dry 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 that's not gonna cut it i need something thick and creamy and heavy so i go in with my off brand walmart brand see the feel moisturizer and I don't have any rhyme or reason why I use the off-brand one. It's just like the one I grabbed, probably because it was cheaper than the Cetaphil, but it works for me. So I just continue to use it. And as you can see, I be using it. So I'm just gonna go in with that. This shit is thick. Like this is for heavy duty moisture. Like it's just, it's thick. Um, So I'm gonna put that on, mm-hmm. This is also a great base for makeup because it's just so moisturizing and so heavy. Um, so, I used to use this as a primer, actually. Whew, okay, can y'all can see that though. You can see the moisture and the glow. Like y'all see it. Y'all see y'all know what y'all know what it is. Y'all see what's going on here. Okay. So yeah, we want to sit there and take our time and let that sit and soak and you know do a study with this magic. Ice coffee. What would we do without it? What what would I do? I couldn't tell you. Okay. So now, ladies, we should all be using an eye cream. And, you know, I stand for, apparently I stand for Mario Badesco, but I stand for this hyaluronic eye cream in particular. It's thick. It doesn't smell like anything. I feel like it works. And it kind of like repels the light under your eye a little bit. And I love it. So as you can see, I'm not really patting this in. I like to let my eye cream just kind of sit. Like I put it in a layer. And we just let that sit because I started my eye cream late in the game and now I'm scared. So I feel like I need like a double toes. <laughs> um, okay, so that's my eye cream. We let that sit. And then lastly, this is my little dirty secret. This is the Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer from Glam Glow in the shade Nude Glow. I got this as a um, sample from Sephora like probably two years ago, maybe three. This is bomb. So let me tell y'all a little secret. If you're wearing no makeup, but you want a little glow, a little something, you just take a little bit of this, you know, just dab her, like literally. Uh-huh. You like, oh, it didn't do anything. Oh, yes, it did. You see the glow that eye cream puts there, too. Like, okay, this this is, okay, that's a lot. Like, I wouldn't put this on my whole face because I feel like you're going to be too glowy, too glistening. Maybe if you're, like, somewhere tropical. I literally put this everywhere. I would put highlighter. Um, Above my lip. And so, you know, it's literally like nobody would ever know. It just looks like you just got a facial. Like you have this like radiant inside out. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Who, who ain't just get a facial? Okay. Giving glow. Giving health. Giving, you know. Giving, oh, she takes care of her shit. Make, giving makeup optional. Makeup is always optional if you ask me. But giving makeup optional, you know what I'm saying? We giving healthy skin. We giving monthly facial glow. Even when you haven't had one in like a couple years. So, um, I hope you guys picked up some secrets, some tips, some tricks to help your dry skin this winter. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.